friends welcome back to my channel today I'm going to share with you a little treat I'm taking to Bunko tonight it is September and I came across some really cute scarecrow cupcakes a few weeks ago now there's all different variations if you google scarecrow cupcakes you will see there's tons of variations of them and what you make the hat and the eyes and the face is just completely up to you of what you got but let me show you what I'm going to make mine out of now my hat I'm going to use some of these sugar wafers I've seen them made with with some rolled out caramel different things uh, for the hair I'm going to use some shredded coconut I'm going to toast it a little bit to get a little brown color you could use chow mein noodles or shredded wheat for the eyes I'm just I just bought some inexpensive chocolate chips but you know use dots of icing or you could buy the little uh, the little candy eyes or whatever but I didn't buy any expensive since I only needed two for each cupcake for the nose it's going to be a candy corn and for the mouth you could use string licorice or uh, I'm just going to squiggle some black icing for the mouth now for the actual cupcake I picked up some spice cake I thought that would be appropriate since it's a scarecrow cupcake and, and I wanted cream cheese frosting but my store was out of it so I just picked up some vanilla and I'm going to whip up a eight ounce block of cream cheese in it and it will make a really good cream cheese frosting so those are the ingredients it's a little pricey to do it maybe about ten dollars to make this set of cupcakes but it really makes a cute impression when you take it to a fall get together I'm not going to go through how to make a set of cupcakes but when I get back with you we'll be ready to ice them and I'll show you how to make the scarecrow face okay, to toast my coconut I just spread out about half the bag on some aluminum foil on a cookie sheet and I set the broiler on high and it's going to take two or three minutes but you constantly watch it because it will turn brown really quick two or three minutes okay I have a little assembly line going here I'm gonna let my cupcakes cool off just a little bit more but I've got all my face parts just lined up ready for an assembly line but I want to show you the hats real quick now what I did for the hats is I took one wafer and I just cut it directly in half and that's going to be the the top part of the hat then I took another wafer and cut about a fourth of it off and then split that in half and so that's going to be the brim of the hat I'm going to take just a little dab of icing like glue and I'm going to put it along the center of that and then just on this brim and kind of glue the little hat the three pieces of the hat together it'll help it stay just a little bit and then that's what I'm going to put on the cupcake okay I want to catch you up where I'm at now I've got half of them decorated and this is a what I'm gonna to take to Bunko tonight I'll let my boys eat the rest of them but I just want to give you a little close-up on them now the more I made the the easier they got now I did learn a little bit along the way now I diluted my vanilla icing with some cream cheese now if you just buy the regular cream cheese icing or you make your own it will definitely be a little thicker and a little bit more adhesiveness you know that was my problem was trying to keep my hat to stand up and so I just took this little cake carrier and propped my hats up now once it's chilled I think everything will set into place but they are a little tricky at first but they are definitely doable and uh, you know be sure and I know that a cake mix makes 24 cupcakes but allow yourself a few mess ups so don't count on more than 18 or 20 just in case some of them don't turn out just right because you definitely want your scarecrow cupcakes to look like scarecrows you know I did mess up on one or two the more I made the the cuter they got and and I saw somewhere you know some people put a little strip of licorice or something right there to cover up those little uh, icing spots but you know you might can find some little candy flowers or something to stick there but I think they're cute I think the girls will enjoy them and it's just something fun to share at Bunko so I hope you enjoyed it hope you give it a try and happy fall bye bye